everybody. Um, I thought I would do a five month update on my rabbit cages from KW Cages. Um, so I've made a few changes. I added J feeders. So I put one of these in each of the cages. Those are just really easy to me to use. Um, I'm still using this for the water, these galvanized metal tubs, but I had to add a piece of wire and kind of hook it around to hold it down because they like to uh, pop them out and dump the water. Um, so that's a little bit different. Uh, the other thing that I've added is these little hay feeders. These are awesome. These are totally awesome. The only problem I get with uh, these is when my goat is in her stall, sometimes she'll, she's really tall, so she'll jump up and she will try to eat the hay out of the rabbit hay feeder because, you know, she's a brat. But, uh, so yeah, I did those. Hers I had to put really, really high so that she can only reach, if you can look around here, she can only reach the very top because she's a digger. And so she will dig it and dig it and dig it and then just waste it all. So if I put it up really high, she can't really dig too much. She can only pull it out with her teeth. So, so far that has worked much, much better. Um, everybody else's, the other two rabbits can have it at a normal height because they don't do that, but hers is up a little high. Um, so that's all she can reach. So down in the bottom, we actually have kits right now too. Uh, down in the bottom, I have, let me get the camera to focus here. I have one of the galvanized metal nest boxes down here. Um, I really didn't think that this girl was bred. I really didn't, uh, but she was. And so at the last minute when I saw her pulling hay and holding it in her mouth, I threw that in there quickly. Um, and sure enough, within a few days, she had seven kits but she had six of them she's a first timer and she ended up having six of them at the front of the nest box and they froze to death because of course it was the coldest night as of yet this year so <laughs> can't fault her one survived so she's got one of hers and then i also gave her two of the other rabbit because she was also bred um, it was funny because I was out here one day and I noticed her breathing heavy. Now this rabbit here, she's really beautiful, but she is very, very aggressively mean. So, um, I noticed her breathing heavy in the corner of the cage. So I said, well, you know, let me see a little bit closer. So I opened the cage and I reached in and she let me pet her and I thought, oh boy, so as she was over in this corner, I was reaching in and cutting a hole for this nest box. I didn't have another one of the other style and I've been wanting to install these and just hadn't yet. So as she was in labor, I was cutting that out. Not very good planning by the way, <laughs> um, but it did work out. She ended up immediately going into the nest box and she had seven very healthy kits. So awesome she's raising five of them and i gave two of them to the girl down below so that she would have more than one um and plus one all of she this girl here had seven five were white two were black so the one down below had one um dark one so i gave her the two blacks and uh just made it easier Plus one of the white ones is very, very tiny. So I'll see if I can get in the nest box. I just cleaned them out because they were really, it was time. I think these guys are a week old or so. Yeah, they're about a week. Here's the buck. He's pretty mellow. He's pretty good. Yeah, aren't ya? None of these are real super overly friendly, but um, Let's see what we can see here. Push her back. I put this over the hole so she can't come in and attack me because she likes to do that. All right, so here are the kits. And there are five of them. 
Let me see if I can get one here. There's one. Fat little things. <laughs> they're very cute, but there's five white ones. One is kind of a peanut size. It's very, very tiny. Um, look at her come right through. She's like, what are you doing? Um, but it's growing really well. It's just smaller than the others. So, yeah. The cages have worked out great. I The only thing I would do differently, I think, for myself, is I would have went ahead and upgraded to the poly trays versus the galvanized, but they're still okay. I just started putting sawdust in the bottom because um, these get really nasty looking really quickly. So I just put the sawdust in. But other than that, they are awesome cages. I cannot recommend them enough. Let me see if I can get like the whole thing in the, there we go. So they're pretty awesome. Can't recommend them enough. Uh, also the nest boxes. The nest boxes are actually from Pointer Hill, I believe is where I got those. Um, probably not doable if you have a huge rabbit tree, but totally doable if you're doing what we are in just a small homestead raising some meat rabbits. Um, because we only really need two nest boxes. So I have another one. I just hadn't installed it yet. So I'll do that before the next litter from the blue girl on the bottom. And it just makes it easier. You can just walk right up, pop the top off, check on them. Um, it, they, they also send it with an, a door. So when you take the nest box off, uh, you can install the door and then just close, close the hole. Um, so it's pretty pretty amazing. I love these nest boxes. They're pretty awesome. Because it still gives that doe much more room in her cage. These cages, again, are 36 by 30 by 18. So I believe that's the largest stackables you can get. And I figured by adding the outside nest box, that gives them even more room. So, yeah, it's pretty awesome. Well, thanks for watching. And... I hope this uh, helps you make a decision on an investment in KW Cages.